Dynamics 365 Business Central allows you to easily set up and use email right within the application. And I want to show you how to do that. We're going to set up email. We're going to have two different types of accounts. And then we're going to use that email in the application. So let's get started. I'm in Business Central and you can see I have no account set up at this time. So it's easy to do. I'm going to add an email account just by clicking on this. But first of all, let's go to Exchange and look at the accounts I'm going to use. This is my Exchange server on Microsoft 365. I've got two accounts set up. One is a shared mailbox, it's just called Sales. And then I've got a personal mailbox right here. I'm going to use these two to set up in Business Central. So let's go ahead and set up the first account. There are a number of ways to get to this particular screen, but this is the one you want. You can look it up on search, or you can just go, as I did, start with the email accounts and just add a new account. And the first account I'm going to set up is the shared one here on Microsoft 365. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to enter this information about that email account from my Exchange server. Hit Next. If I want to, I can send the test email. Next, I want to set up my personal account. I'll do that here. So the current user account will be used when a particular user is logged into Business Central. It will use that account, not the shared accounts. So let's set this up. It fills this information in for me. I'm going to make this the default account. I can send a test email. Let's send it. Here's my Outlook email account. We can take a look at the test email that was sent from the system. You can see it right here. That's fine, so it works. Let's go back to Business Central, hit Finish. So these are my two email accounts I currently have in my system. You can add as many accounts as you want. The next thing you can do in Business Central is you can assign different scenarios to specific email accounts. So in this case, I'm going to assign a purchase order to my account. Let's do that. So I have a purchase order assigned to my account. So what I want to do is every time I send a purchase order out to a vendor, I want to include with it a sheet on terms and conditions. I've got one set up. I'm going to attach it to the purchase order template so it goes out every time with a purchase order. So it's easy to do. Set the scenario attachments here. I'll have a new one. We'll add the file in. Let's take a look at it. Here's the PDF document I want to include. I'll select that. And there it is. We'll have attached by default, and we'll take a look at that a little later on. So we've got email set up in Business Central. We've tested it to one account. So let's use it. So I've got the sales order set up to go out to a customer. There are a number of different email scenarios I can use just on this document right here. I may want to send out a confirmation. I can go ahead and do that. Go to print send, send the email confirmation. Goes to the customer here. You can see that right there. Let's go ahead and send the email. Easy, done. And another thing I can do is when I post this, I can send the documents related to that directly to the customer. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna post and send. I'm gonna use these settings. I'll go ahead and say OK. And I still have the regular posting process. I can ship it and then later invoice it. I'm going to do both at the same time. Again, I have another email. I'm going to send that out to the customer right away. It's the sales invoice. I'll also send the shipping document as well. There's a shipping document down here. We can see that shipping document here. Go ahead and send that. And now the customer has a sales order confirmation, the ship confirmation, and the sales invoice itself. All from one screen, all done within Business Central using the email setup. Let's take a look at that customer. Central Coast Wineries. And what I can do too is I can also use this in a collection scenario. 
If I need to reach out to that client and email them a copy of that invoice, it's really easy to do. Go to the balance due here. Here's the invoice here that we just sent out. What I can do is if I want to resend this to the client, I can do it from this screen here. Open this up. Make sure it's the right one. Then email that document. There it is again, let's send that email. And we can take a look at the recipient's email account and see that all those emails sent from Business Central were properly delivered. We can see here, this is the order confirmation. We've got the sales invoice here. The shipment information with an attachment. Remember the documents in the attachment. Here it is right there. And then we have the follow-up on the invoice payment. So I now want to create a quick purchase order out to a vendor and show the attachment of the terms and conditions to that purchase order. So I have a purchase order here. Let's send a copy of that. Go ahead and send that out to the vendor. You can see it's going to send a copy of the purchase order itself, plus the terms and conditions right here. So I'm going to go ahead and send that. And now we can look at the recipient's email account and we can see that they've received both the purchase order and the terms and conditions. And Business Central allowed me to set up an email scenario where I also attach a copy of the terms and conditions for purchases from my company. You can see that here. In this demonstration, we set up existing email accounts in Business Central. We set up two, we set up a shared account and also a current user account. These accounts can be used for emailing a number of different types of documents from Business Central. We looked also at email scenarios and what we can do with that as far as attaching documents. And then we use the email functionality in a number of different types of transactions. If you're ready to deploy Copilot in Microsoft 365, download our free guide with the link in our video description.